Are you ready for the action that Monkey Man is going to bring? I don't think you are. Let's go. Monkey Man is written, directed, and stars Dev Patel, and this is his magnum opus martial arts film. It's full of action, it's full of visuals, it's full of style. Are you ready for a fight? One, two, three. And seeing this in the theater was such an experience. Me being a big action fan since I was a little kid, uh, this was special to me. And also being someone that not only loves martial arts, but being a martial artist since I was a young boy. Um, this is the type of movie that always speaks to me in every single way possible. But you have this story of a character named Kid who fights in this underground you know, arena and he's throwing his matches, getting his ass kicked all to hell. Uh, basically to support himself, you know, being on the streets, kind of, you know, this shady network of people and so forth. And all the while, he is trying to inch his way closer and closer to this police chief in, in this area, in this place, uh, Mumbai. And he's trying to inch his way closer and closer to this police chief who is corrupt. And the idea is he wants revenge for the death of his mother and so many innocents. Now, this movie plays on multiple levels because you have the martial arts action, but it also has some political satire in there for, you know, people that live in India. And I think Dev Patel was really smart to kind of layer this film with a lot of different things that really make this more than just a movie where people are kicking ass and doing these crazy stunts. Now, this film had a lot of issues getting off the ground. Um, from what I understand, it was bought by Netflix and then it was, you know, kind of put down. They, you know, they didn't even know if this was going to be released. And then you have Jordan Peele who comes to save the day, was really impressed with the film, and also being uh, a person that loves to give these types of films uh, a bigger light. So he came to save the day and helped to work with the distribution and, and all of that. It's a movie that I've heard a lot of people give praise to. Um, it's had a lot of great buzz. I've heard a few people, um, whether it be in the in the movie community or so forth, say that they were underwhelmed by it. I've heard I've heard a couple people even say the word boring. Now, here's my take on it. This is a movie that has a lot of great action in it, but it isn't over the is it isn't it isn't an action heavy movie. Okay, it obviously has inspiration from a ton of martial arts films which it should and it's some of the best martial arts films of all time films like enter the dragon uh, fist of fury the raid uh, even john wick it even name drops john wick in the film and that's one thing that i really liked about it too you had moments of levity you had moments where you laugh out loud and then in the next instance you're sitting there going oh my god did you see that you know i think that when you have a film that can elicit all those emotions back to back on this roller coaster, I think it's really cool. But you do have story within this film. You know, again, it's really odd in a way, but not in a negative sense. It's odd as far as some of the rhythms that it has. You know, you have these scenes where the cinematography was beautiful. You have these scenes where you see this city and the bright lights and all these wonderful things. And it's beautiful. And you also have these moments where you're right down on the street level with common criminals. And it's weaving in um, this cultural uh, vibe. You've got Hindu theology within it. You have some of the story beats that you would think of in a martial arts action film because you have this hero that is on this journey that is leveling up and when he gets to what he thinks is his highest peak, he's taken down pretty much all the way back to where he started. And then he has to rebuild himself up in a better, stronger way. And, and I think that that was, that was the thing about this movie that really 
um, really worked for me because it wasn't just the same old, same old. I've watched martial arts action films since I was a little kid growing up in the 80s and 90s, okay? So I've seen just about anything that you can do in a martial arts action movie. And I, I can totally say that this film did a lot of fresh things. You know, some people, and I've even heard the buzz, you know, when the movie first, uh, the trailer dropped and the movie was coming out and you know there was this buzz that this is this is the new john wick you know this is the the indian version of john wick and to be quite honest i don't think it's a ripoff of john wick whatsoever and i don't think it has that many parallels to john wick in a way you know what i mean like john wick has and john wick's a fantastic movie and it's a fantastic franchise and i love it by the way if you haven't checked out my videos on john wick check those out but with this film it's really kind of going deeper into the story into the person into you know the plot and so forth and i think that's what separates it from john wick when i saw this in the theater and the theater was really uh packed which was cool a lot of great interaction and reaction from the theater but when i saw this this gave me more vibes like something like uh, Ong Bak from Tony Ja. When I saw Ong Bak in the theater, it was like I was immersed into this culture that had never had much of a voice, not only in martial arts action films, but in you know popular films over here in the West. So I think this film is much more on that line of things, you know, a little bit of like an Ong Bak type of feel because it really dives deep into the culture. And Dev Patel, I think, shows that in the film. He's very gifted as a director. And he spoke about when he was younger that he was, quote unquote, a little ashamed of his culture. And so I think with this film, this is kind of like, you know, his coming out party because, I mean, you see things in this film and the way that it moves through the story arc you just have to you have to buckle up and pay attention and go for it that's what you have to do and i love that because it's it it, it, it intrigues me it stimulates me as a viewer like yes we got a lot of ass kicking we got a lot of great ass kicking and dev patel doing his own stunts and just crazy crazy things also some nods to jackie chan as well you know there's a couple times that he was doing stuff and i was like okay the, obviously he he's a true martial arts fan because this is nods to jackie chan but but he had his own voice with this character and he's having his own voice with this movie okay so when you go in to see this film if you're a martial arts action film fan go into this movie open-minded just let it happen let it happen you're going to be very happy with what you see and again don't think about something like john wick or even the raid you know the raid especially is so action heavy and you know the plot the story is very basic very thin and that's not a knock on it it just it is what it is but it's a great movie where you basically have this character that's just going up these levels of this complex and just fighting people that's that's basically what's going on in the raid this movie gives you two three maybe even four more layers of, of story that's going on the acting was great dev patel was captivating very charismatic as we know that he already is he's very talented and i think that he's he's positioning himself to be able to do a lot of great work behind the camera which that's pretty cool man that's really cool the other thing about the action in the film the fighting it's not perfect right you know when you watch something like a john wick or or the raid you know everything is kind of you know it's it's well done it's choreographed it's tight you know and there are moments in monkey man where that that choreography is is tight but it's it's very um it's very chaotic you know he's not a perfect fighter you know he gets his ass kicked a lot in this film and not just like in the beginning acts of the film where he's doing that on purpose you know he's throwing fights to get money you know people are betting uh money so he's throwing the fights uh, to make a living but not even just that but like even when he's on his mission to take revenge man he's making mistakes he's you know, he's slipping he's falling he's getting hit 
Um, and, and, and I think that what's cool about that too is that it adds a little bit more realism uh, to the story. You know, when you watch something like Wick, for instance, it looks beautiful. And, and Keanu Reeves is getting his, his butt kicked, you know, but more so because he's fighting 80 million people, right? He's just getting tired as he's fighting one person after another, after another. You know, he is getting shot, with the, you know, he's got the bulletproof uh, suit on, but still, it's it's different. You know, in this movie, Depatel is taking hits like a mofo. I mean, seriously, it's stuff that's like, wow. You do have an, uh, a scene where, you know, some training going on. Definitely montage just to the old school 70s and 80s kung fu flicks. If you know, you know. I was, I was geeking out in the theater, man. I was like, yes, yes. You know, a little bit of Master Killer in there. If you know, you know, Gordon Liu, uh, shout out to Gordon Liu, the master. But seriously, it was a lot of great things that this movie had. And story beats that you don't expect. I, I was, you know, all the way up until the end of the film. Up until the very end of the film, I'm kind of like, you know, my jaws dropped for different reasons here and there. And so I was very impressed with Monkey Man. I think that it was a great um, action film, you know, has all of these elements to come together you know cinematography the music which was amazing in the theater just pumping you know the fighting which was just so inspired you know again i yeah i've rarely seen these elements come together for a martial arts action film and monkey man was able to do that this is a film that not only do i want to see again but i want to absorb it some more really get into it because i think this is a film that is really going to be in people's top lists it, it, i think so and especially if you're a martial arts action fan this this is going to be this is going to be up there but you have to absorb it that's the thing about this movie like you really got to take it in whereas something that's more along the lines of the raid you watch it and boom you know exactly what it is what you've seen all the story beats so anyways guys let me know if you've seen monkey man do you want to see it are you excited about you know having the opportunity to have a new martial arts action film that is so culturally vibrant something a little bit different let me know what your thoughts are about that down in the comment section down below we could talk about it as a community if you haven't hit the like button please do helps to support the channel join the night watch zone join this fantastic family and as we talk about movies check out some of my other videos a lot of other action films including the john wick movies and if you want to see more of those types of things let me know and i'll catch you guys later because this is a place where you'll never love and talk about movies the same if you're watching this if you're listening to this you are the night watch peace Ciao. Thank you.